Hey gang, it's Brian from FX Billiards. Today, we're gonna to talk about five advanced draw shots. If you have these in the bag, you can do a lot of other things. So, let's get started. The first shot on our list is one that you may already have in the bag. We are not just playing a draw shot back here to the rail, guys. That's easy enough. What we're doing is we're now gonna play that same draw shot but we're gonna play it with low left hand English. Now, we're gonna hit this right about the seven o'clock mark. It's gonna come straight back. You want a level cue, good follow through. Push through on your stroke. You'll spin the cue ball down table. You're automatically on this ball. Here, we're gonna come off at three rails with our draw shot, not just one, but three. We are on our nine ball. We need to get down here for the eight ball that is on this rail here. So we play our nine ball in this corner with low right hand English. We're gonna come off of this rail, this rail, hit this rail and get all but perfect on this eight ball. So a shot looks like this. This shot may actually be easier to execute for you than the first shot. And this is pretty good position on our eight. We are on our nine ball. We want to get on the 13. We've got blockers here, so we don't want to go forward. And by the way, if we could go forward to get on this 13, it would be the wrong shot. You want to move in line with this ball. So how do you go about doing it? We play this with low right hand English. We take some of our pace off of it. We move down table towards our 13 ball. And now we have a decent shot on the 13 that will automatically put us on the eight. That's what we're talking about when we take that one shot and we turn it into something else. This 13 could have been anywhere along this path and we could have used it for position. Maybe all we needed to do was to get on this side of the table. This same shot works. What if we have this situation? Now our eight ball it's on the wrong side for the shot that we took before. So what do we do here? You're gonna need more of a stroke this time, but we can come off of this rail. Clearly I don't have the exact same angle, <laughs> but we're gonna come off of this rail and bounce out. And now, again, we have a shot on the eight. If you don't think the shot on the eight is there, that's how easy it is. So one more derivative of the shot. All we did was add some pace to it this time. This is one of my favorite shots in pool. I love when this comes up, especially early in a match. Why? Spirit breaker, right? We are on the five ball. We are playing nine ball. The six is here. It's being hidden by the eight. So we couldn't even just hold this up and then play the six ball. We can't go forward off of three rails like we might because the nine ball is in our way. So what if we shoot low left hand English and draw, and we come off of that rail, this rail, head down table, one more rail, we're perfect on the six ball, our shot looks like this. We come off of our third rail, we are perfect on this six ball. This time our six is in space. Our eight is down here, it doesn't matter where our eight is, we're playing nine ball, we need to go from the five to the six. We shoot the same shot, I'm gonna take a little bit of spin off of it. I'm gonna take a little bit of pace off of it. And now instead of coming all the way down table and landing here, we're moving in line with our six ball. If you get this path on your six ball, you're going to be out if you're a decent player. If you have that shot, you're out from here. This is gonna be one of the more difficult of the shots that I show you. But you're only coming off of one rail. What we're doing is we're playing the six down there in that corner pocket. We're gonna spin off of this rail to break up our cluster. So the shot looks like this. Come over here, that's enough. We are now out whether we're playing eight ball or nine ball. The distance between this ball, the cue ball and the six, the greater the distance, the more difficult the shot is, but get your cue ball close to the six, bring it down and get a sense of what it's like to come off of this rail with all of that spin. If you get the balls closer than I had them, you will be able to pull off this shot more likely. This is a great shot to have in your bag.
Those of you that watch FX Billiards regularly, which should be all of you, this is what we call the semicircle drill. Now, for you analytical types, save your little thumbs. We know this is not a semicircle. Watch, I'm com coming off the rail to get shape on this seven ball. That's cheating, by the way. When you shoot the semicircle drill, what you want to do is shoot short little draw shots, like all but that one, and get on the next ball. What makes this an advanced draw shot? Well, I'll tell you. The fact that high intermediate players have a hard time doing that. Why do they have a hard time? Because they can draw the cue ball back, but when they're drawing it back, they have to hit it so hard that they can't control it with that kind of speed. Now, there's a bunch of people, a bunch, that have a five foot draw shot and can't get around that circle, given a dozen chances, seriously. If you can't make it around there, you are probably hitting the cue ball too hard. Why are you hitting the cue ball too hard? Because you're not hitting it low enough with a good enough stroke that will allow you to draw back most draw shots without slamming the ball. A lot of people think they're hitting the ball at the bottom. You have to hit the ball low with good follow through and you will be able to scrub off a lot of speed. Brian, every time I hit the ball low, I miss cue and it pops off the table. No, when the cue ball pops off the table, you scooped it, you hit under the ball. I know you think you're hitting it low. I know you think your cue is level. I'm just letting you know that in most cases, you are jacked up too much or your stroke breaks down somewhere between your backswing and your follow through and you get under the ball. That is how you scoop the ball. Keep your cue low, work on your stroke, and when you can hit it soft, then you can make those shots. That is an advanced draw shot because it is one of the most commonly used shots in a game of eight ball and nine ball. And if you think, well, I haven't had to shoot that shot, it's probably because you've been doing the wrong thing. Okay? Get that shot in your game and it will open up a whole world for you. You've seen it here on this channel a dozen times. And people even email me and say, I got past the fifth ball on the semicircle drill finally. People that have been playing for years have a hard time with that because it's the stroke, the follow through, and the focus on getting right on each shot. Don't forget to subscribe, hit us in the comments, give us a thumbs up, and I will talk to you guys soon.